it's from. Welcome to the pack of Fremont. <laughs> I couldn't imagine a better place to be on a Friday night. Glad you're here with me. My name is Franz. Um, I head up design for Tesla, and I've been waiting a long, long time for this moment. I don't know about you guys, right? As Adam said, I just want to say a, a, a special thank you to everybody that's here in Fremont. We have some guests, referral guests, um, here also in the back. People at Gigafactory, our employees all around the world, and of course, everybody that's tuned in and watching online. We couldn't do it at all without and all of you, especially our employees that work day and night, in and out, and just awesome. Awesome. Uh, Give yourselves a round of a hand, a round of applause. Come on. But I know you're not here to hear me talk about how beautiful our cars are. Who do you want to see in here? Elon. Yeah, Elon. So help me bring Elon to the stage. Let's give point your attention over there. Over there. And let's count it down. Come on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Watching this uh, online, just a couple of things I want to point out to, before I go into the presentation. Uh, the, the projector that is producing that image is powered by a Model S. There are no wires. So that is a projector on a Model S with the energy coming from the battery pack, and that is what's producing that, that image. That is the factory. Like a lot of people may realize, that is, that is actually part of the factory. That is not a screen. <laughs> and the people in the audience are the people that have designed and engineered and built the Model 3. All right, so let's talk, talk about what goes into making the Model 3. It's also with design. Uh, so congratulations to the design team. You've done a phenomenal job. I've enjoyed working with you every week. You guys are amazing. Nice work. So there, there are many elements that, uh, of, of the design. It's, uh, it's difficult to actually say exactly um, what makes it good, but except so that we, we agonize over every curve, over every detail, every corner, every element of the interior, the exterior, uh, including things that people probably won't even notice. We, we care about every, every, every part of it. The, yeah, so let's go to the next part of the interior. We aimed for something that was uh, a very simple, clean design uh, because I think uh, in the future, well, really, future being now, um, <laughs> that uh, the cars will be increasingly autonomous. So you won't really need to look at an instrument panel all that often. Uh, you'll be able to do whatever you want. Uh, you'll be able to watch a movie, uh, talk to friends, go to sleep. Uh, Every model, every Tesla being produced right now, uh, the Model 3, the Model S, the Model X has has all of the hardware necessary for full autonomy. And I think a lot of people still don't realize that. Uh, it's got the eight cameras, it's got uh, 12 ultrasonic sonars, it's got the forward radar, um, and it's got uh, over 10 terabytes of computing capability. Uh, let's go more into the interior. So one of the challenges with the, the car was 
uh, since it is smaller than a Model S, how do we um, make a car that is smaller on the outside, bigger on the inside? So we took an idea from the Model X, which was the, 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 the canopy screen that makes you feel like you're, if you're in a Model X, it makes you feel like you're uh, flying a helicopter. It really <laughs> has this amazing feel. And we turned that around, put that on the rear of the Model 3, so that you can still have a great deal of rear headroom and have, have this amazing view while being in a smaller car. It's actually one of, one of the toughest design challenges of making the Model 3. And then, in, in terms of engineering the car, we have to engineer it to be a lot easier to build. Uh, the Model S is an amazing car, but it's very hard to build. And so we have to get, get the part count down, design it still to be light, uh, but also to make it affordable. And the, I think that the team's done an amazing job of that. And then where this really shows up is in things like safety. So let's take a look at the safety video. Um, so on the one hand, you've got a car that is one of the safest cars in the world, the Volvo S60. There's other cars that say they are five star, and um, they are sort of uh, five star. That's not a scientific metric, uh, but, they, <laughs> even, but even though it, they are something like the Volvo, great car, very, by normal standards, very safe. Uh, the, the, the Volvo is arguably the second safest uh, car in, in the world. Um, <laughs> but I think it is, it is obvious which car you would prefer to be in in an accident. So. The first and foremost for the engineering of the, of the of the car was safety. Then, in terms of production, the the thing that is going to be the major challenge for us over the next six to nine months is how do we build a huge number of cars. The um, I mean, and frankly, we're going to be in production hell. Uh, <laughs> welcome, welcome, <laughs> welcome to production hell. Um, that, that's going to be uh, where we are for at least six months, maybe longer. Um, but you guys know that you're veterans. Uh, I've been through this. So um, I look forward to working alongside you, <laughs> turning through hell. And uh, as the saying goes, if you're going through hell, keep going. <laughs> really? Uh, so the, the, just to give you a sense of the size of the factory, but uh, the, the our Fremont car factory, where we are right now, is the second largest footprint uh, building in the world. Um, and that's going to ultimately produce half a million Model 3s um, and about 100,000 combined uh, S and X vehicles, and, and maybe more if, if, if we can do it. But it just gives it, I want to give you a sense of, of the, the scale and the, um, how, how much has to go right. So <clears throat> then uh, a frequent question I get asked. Um, I, I noticed it's sort of popping up on, on, on Twitter quite a lot. Uh, where is my Model 3? Uh, sometimes not phrased quite as nicely as that. Uh, yeah. Um, well, <laughs> we're, we're building the cars as fast as we can. We're going to drive this ramp as hard as we possibly can. Um, I have here a, a chart. Uh, so if you uh, we're had trouble falling asleep, then this chart will, might help you. Um, it, 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 the, the point is to, to give you a sense of, of how manufacturing actually works. There, there are 10,000 unique parts in a, model, in a Model 3. And these are coming from all over the world. About, about two thirds come from North America and about a third from the rest of the world. But as you can see uh, with this chart, uh, which looks like we're being shot with ICBMs. <laughs> I think that, that is the ICBM chart, actually. Um, <laughs> Save us, Eli! <laughs> we need missile command. Uh, but uh, almost anything that goes wrong anywhere in the world, if we, don't have, if we haven't buffered the supply chain, will interrupt the, the, the production progress. Um, when you have 10,000 unique items in a, in, a, in a vehicle or any, any, uh, any object, uh, any one of them 
uh, can slow down the production process. So the production rate will move as fast as the slowest um, and least luckiest component in the, on the, in the whole mix. Then on top of that, we have the Gigafactory. So this is a uh, slow motion. We started off with the, there being nothing. There was just a sort of desert and built what is now one of the largest, it's actually now the largest uh, battery factory in the world. And when it's done, I uh, will produce more uh, lithium ion batteries than the rest of global production combined from one building. So, in fact, let's, let's go to the Gig Factory live so we can connect to them. To the whole bunch of people at uh, Nevada um, that helped make the pack, the battery pack, and the uh, the, the motor, the powertrain, and um, so we've got giant giant factory making battery packs and powertrains, giant factory making cars, and giant supply chain. Um, and so all of those have to work together uh, in, in, in cadence in order to get to our initial target of 5,000 cars a week and then um, hopefully uh, by the end of next year towards 10,000 cars a week. And then uh, you're probably wondering, okay, will I be able to charge my car? Um, well, this is like probably the second most common question I get on Twitter, like, uh, the supercharger is full, uh, what is wrong with you? Uh, <laughs> why are you such a huge idiot? Like, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, okay, we, we are tripling the number of, by, by, by the end of next year, there will be three times as many superchargers as there are today. So that should really help out a lot. And uh, essentially you'll be able to go uh, almost anywhere, uh, North America, Europe, Asia, Australia, um, and uh, main parts of Asia and the, uh, the Gulf area uh, by the end of next year. Eventually, you'll be able to go anywhere on Earth. Yeah. So, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> uh, and, and actually, technically, you can go anywhere on Earth because anywhere on Earth where there's electricity, you can charge your car. So, the supercharger is just about being able to charge a car really fast. Okay, so let's talk about the specs for the Model 3. There, there are two uh, main variants. There's the standard and long range. Uh, the standard, well, is going to be thirty-five thousand dollars for a two hundred twenty-mile range. It's going to be a, a, a fast car, so the acceleration will still be uh, well under six seconds, one hundred thirty mile an hour top speed. And then you also get the long range one, uh, which will have a range of three hundred ten miles. Uh, <laughs> About roughly five seconds to 60, 140 <laughs> mile an hour top speed. So this is going to be a really uh, great car. I think uh, you will not be able to find a better car, gasoline or electric, in, in that price range that is anywhere near as, as great. All right. Woo! So let's head over some cars. We have the first 30, we have the first 30 production cars here being charged right now, right there. Some cases spent days uh, outside of our stores to 
uh, to be personal, uh, I want I just want you to know we we really that really matters to us, and we really care. Um, we're going to do everything we possibly can to get you the car as soon as possible. Uh, so uh, we're going to work day and night to to do right by the, by the loyalty that you've shown us. Thank you for doing that. And then just a, a reminder, we've got uh, now three cars uh, in production. Um, there's the, the X, the, the S, and the, the three. Those letters can be mine, however you like. Uh, and uh, the, uh, it, 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 to give you a sense, if you order a Model 3 now, you'll probably get it uh, towards the end of next year. Uh, but because the S and the X are in production, if you order them now, you can get them in about one or two months. Um, and as uh, I'd like to thank the, all the customers who have who own a, a Model S and X, and those who who buy a Model S and an X, because in doing so you make the three possible. Uh, the, the money that we we make with with an S and X all goes into building Model Three. So thank you for doing that. Uh, thank you for a long time supporters. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you.